Today we're going to be proving the Pythagorean theorem using similar triangles. It's my favorite proof for um, chapter 5, so let's get to it. And so let's go start with the triangle. Pythagorean theorem says that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So that's what we're going to be proving. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I think you probably have seen this for several years now, but to prove it using similar triangles, you may not have seen. So let's start by calling the vertices. We'll just use this a, b, c. A, B, C. We're going to construct a point from here perpendicular to the to the hypotenuse AB. So we'll just go right here and we'll call this point D. And we're going to call this distance from A to D little x and from D to B little y and this point from C to D h. Now be, we're going to start by looking at the similar triangles. Now the, the, I'm going to go like this is similar to these two, three, and this is going to make sense to you as you go. So the big triangle, it doesn't matter which order I choose, I'm going to say ABC. Either clockwise or counterclockwise is what I'm saying. So I'm going to go over here ABC. And what we're going to be using is the angle-angle similarity postulate. and I'm going to put the proof in the notes at the end. So by the angle-angle similarity postulate, we can say that the big triangle is similar to the smaller triangle. So I'm just going to kind of like draw a color in here so that we can see what I'm talking about. So let me just color this in. And, and I'll shade the other triangle a different color. So Let's go back to this similarity postulate. A, B, C is similar to this top triangle. They both share the angle A. The C is the right angle and the D is the right angle, so this is the right angle for this one. And just C follows. Similarly, A, B, C and the, and the lower triangle both share the angle B. And the right angle is C, so that matches D on here and the other angle that follows is C. Now I'm going to set up triangles. And I don't know how to move this, so I'm just going to erase it. I really don't know how to use the move on this, so maybe I'll learn someday. So let's put in the vertices here. So we have ABC. I'm going to go always in the counterclockwise. I could have gone in the clockwise direction too, but I'm going to put that in for all of them the same way. Now I'm going to put in my distances. A to B is C. B to C is B, and A to C is A. Now A to C is A, C to D is H, and A to D is X. Okay, A, B, C. A to B is um, C. That's supposed to be a C. And this is B. And this is A. Similarly, C to B is B. B to D. Um, B to D is Y. And D to C is H. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be setting up proportions. Now what I'm looking for is from the, is the, well I've got to get my color different contrasting here. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now by the converse of the side 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 similarity po um, postulate we can set up these proportions. Which ones do I want? Well I want an A in the, in, an A so I'm going to actually highlight this A side on both of these. Okay, This is kind of artistic the way I do this and I'm going to highlight the B on both of these sides. But now watch what I do. This is the right side. This matches the right side. This is the left side. This matches the left side. Now I can set up my, my proportionality. C over A is equal to left over right is equal to A over X. And similarly, I'm going to change the color because it's kind of bright. Um, I'm going to do the same thing here. I've got a B corresponds to this lower B. And this CB is the left side of the triangles here. So now I'm going to set up this proportion. C over B is equal to B over 
y. I'm going to cross multiply. a squared equals cx. This, the rest of the steps are all algebra. a squared is equal to cx. And then similarly, we can cross multiply b squared is equal to cy. Now I'm going to add these two together and I'm going to get a squared plus b squared is equal to cx plus cy. We can take out the greatest common factor, which is c, and then you've got x plus y. But we were given in the beginning x plus y is equal to c, so this is equal to c squared, and that's going to finish our proof. I do have in the description box the steps of the proof. I hope you enjoy this video, and it is great fun. Thank you so much for watching.